travel lovers. Hi. So I don't even know what the day is. What's today? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday, yeah. It's Wednesday, so it's Wednesday today. And uh, we're currently just in a coffee shop in Banff Centre. We slept in the car last night. Another cosy, warm night in the car. Yay. It actually wasn't, it wasn't that, that bad. Cool. Yeah, we're just walking around Banff this morning. Actually, it's about 12 o'clock now. Um, we just wanted to show you what Banff is like during the day. And then we're going to slowly head to Lake Louise. So yeah, the drive itself will take about uh, half an hour from Banff. We're going to arrive there and hope to be wowed by Lake Louise. And then uh, after that, we'll just let you know after that. Um, but it's going to be hopefully a special day. What do you think of um, Banff then? Yeah, I like it. It's it's really cute town. Really good. Like we said, Jasper was like fifty percent cute, but Banff is like hundred percent cute. It is really cute. Yeah. 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 yeah no, everything is really nice. I like the fact that everything is made out of wood. Mm. Uh, it's kind of got like a ski resort kind yeah, of like feel a, to it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, ski resort feel. Yeah. Touch. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really nice, but it's really cold. Uh huh. And accommodation is really expensive here, isn't it? How much was that room that we asked about last night? Four hundred dollars for a, a family room, and it was two hundred and sixty for a double. Yeah, we're okay sleeping in the car, and I guess we'll continue doing that until we leave. <laughs> I love how all the signs are specially made here to reflect the wooden look. So nice, isn't it? Justina, how cold is it? It's freezing. Yeah. Gloves, but I left them in my backpack. Well, we were not expecting this, were we? Um, not expecting this, no. <laughs> my jacket closes. Well, mine doesn't. Is it closed? <laughs> it's either because it's broken or too fat. <laughs> Which one is it? I think it's it's because you're it's broken, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're just approaching Lake Louise and we just spotted the famous hotel that we are approaching. Look at that. Wow, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, isn't it? It's this way. me and Justine have walked up here we've uh, arrived at this boathouse here and you can rent one of these canoes to go up the lake here but it comes at a price of $105 for one hour or half an hour 95 which is um, of course better quite to do expensive than one hour, isn't it? it is yeah I mean yeah I think we might walk here. The lake is really nice actually. It doesn't even matter that the weather's a bit grey and a bit cold. It's still really, really nice. Um, we're just going to go and walk for like 3.4 kilometres to a place called Lake Agnes. But look, the lake is still going. It's nice, isn't it, Justina? Very nice, yeah. Yeah. I'm just really happy that it's not raining or snowing. It's just cold. But yeah. But yeah, the sun keeps coming out and then goes back again. <laughs> So we've walked for about half an hour. We're halfway through. Uh, we probably have about 30 minutes left until we reach the tea house. But obviously we couldn't stop. I mean, we had to stop for these views. Yeah, you can see the lake Louise down there. So you can only really see that colour from above really. Lake 
lake called Mirror Lake. This is a lake just before Lake Agnes. Let's see. Nice, isn't it? It's nice because it's quiet. Yeah. And look up. Nice. Little update, we've hit snow, because we're that high up now. And there's a cute waterfall ahead of us. There had to be stairs, didn't there? At the last step. I'll tell you what guys, I am done. I'm so done. 3.4 kilometers all the way up. There was no flat. It's just constant incline. Look at this, it's like a stairway to heaven. It's definitely there. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We made it. Oh, wow. oh this is nice. Yes. Yeah, this is really nice. Let's have a closer look. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. And the water is so clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was worth the hike. Definitely. Wow. Like that's the tea house. Tea house? Yeah, let's have a look. That is fine. Yeah, that's the tea house. So you can actually go inside there during like business hours, but it's closed now. It's around five o'clock. Yeah, you can get coffee. There's like benches outside there, and you can just look out at the view. Yeah, that is a really nice view, that. We are the only ones up here right now, which is incredible because if this was summer or even two weeks ago, this place would be jam-packed. So it feels really quiet and remote and it feels like we've got this whole lake to ourselves. Look at this. Can't go over these views. It's so quiet and peaceful up here, isn't it? And it's not even as cold now. No. Weirdly enough, even though we've gone higher. I feel like it was colder, like next to Lake Louis. Yeah. yeah. I just love how you can see the reflection of the uh, mounting up there. Yeah. Lake in the clouds is a very good description. Because we really are in the clouds. Mm -hmm. We are back, back to this beautiful lake again. Feeling good? Yeah. 6.8 kilometers. I did not expect that. No. That's insane. I thought it was just gonna be like a short 20 minute hike. Me too. It took us probably good two hours. Yeah, maybe definitely. More than two hours because obviously we spent at least half an hour up there. So that was a really good hike, guys. So if you ever come to Lake Louise, we do recommend hiking up to the tea house. It's definitely worth it and maybe try and go there before five so you get to enjoy some mountain ski I guess because they just closed by the time we arrived so we were only able to take pictures of uh, the other lake Agnes Lake but it was still amazing like such a good experience Misha is still taking pictures yeah and um, I was just talking to Misha on the way back uh, we're growing our leg muscles this year like crazy. We're just doing so many hikes. And yeah, it's really good. Yeah, but now we're just down by this lake again. And I think we're gonna go and walk around the Fairmont Hotel. Please, please, please visit Lake Louise. And just in general, the Rockies, once, once in your lifetime. It, it definitely is once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy that we came here. It's definitely quite down. There's not that many people now. I guess everyone's making their way either to Calgary or back to Banff. Yeah, so really good evening. Approved. Um, 
after the hotel we're gonna go back to the car uh, we're thinking of having a nice dinner somewhere back in Banff and uh, maybe we're even gonna go to cinema and watch a movie but yeah we'll catch you in another shot guys <laughs> the view that they have this is the foyer this is the main yeah it's yeah. nice isn't it look massive chandelier there wow yeah it's very nice in here I always wanted to know what it looked like inside oh yeah me too yeah always yeah, now we know so let's see what Justina's elf name is. So first let's off your first name. So J. Puddin. Puddin. And then the month you were born. February. Um, March. Yeah, March. So Puddin Plum Pants? Yeah. That's your elf I'm name. Puddin Plum Pants. Plum Pants. That's cute. It's a tongue twister. What am I then? Twinkle. Yeah. Twinkle monkey buns. Yeah, I think that suits me. Yeah. Twinkle monkey buns. I forgot yours already. Pudding plum pum? <laughs> it's not catching on, is it? No. So guys, it's actually been about four hours since we last saw you. We had some dinner. Uh, I think we took leftovers. Leftovers now. We had some mm. pizza. Um, we didn't want to bore you with that. And we've actually just come to a cinema here in Banff. It's a really cool old school cinema. See, um... What was it called? Wind River. Wind River. It was really, really good, like a really thriller. Um, yeah, we just wanted to just have some comfort tonight because we're gonna go sleep in our car <laughs> in like 10 minutes. So it was really nice and cozy. Um, really good film, really good evening, really good day. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Like the morning was so pooey and gray and rainy. Yeah. But then like when we went to Lake Louise, it all brightened up. I think it was the first item on my bucket list when I started making one at 18. <coughs> so 11 years later, Ooh. finally got to tick that off today. Yay. Really great. Yeah. Um, so um, tomorrow we are still going to continue on our adventure. Yes, yeah, so you'll see what we're up to tomorrow, guys. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like this video comment down below and make sure to say subscribe to us and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!